Hello hair growers and welcome back for another video. My name's Thomas if you are brand new here and I make style and hair related videos every single week. So if that's your kind of thing, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, in today's video, I am a little bit sick still. <laughs> I'm not actually sick in real time. As I'm filming these, I did it in a batch. So I will be nasally for the next five videos. <sighs> sigh <laughs> but that's okay so in today's video i just wanted to go through the reasons guys actually grow their hair out so a lot of us are all on this hair growth journey i technically am still on mine i'm planning to get to my nipples or even longer after having those braids the length on them were legendary i really loved having really long hair like that they were super heavy i don't think my real hair would be that heavy but yeah Anyway, the point is there's multiple reasons why guys grow their hair out. And instead of me sitting here coming up with reasons and doing market research and all this stuff, I actually thought I would take to the community and ask why you guys grew your hair out. Because I thought, I mean, I have my own opinion of, as to why I'm, I grew mine, which I'm gonna share today as well. But I also thought it would be a good opportunity to just scroll through, feature some of you guys with good reasons and not so good reasons. I, there was a few phony ones in there, which I thought was funny. I've only read a couple, so we're really gonna do a deep dive. I posted this on my YouTube channel and on the Facebook group. If you're not part of the Facebook group yet, make sure you go and do that. We have over 2,700 guys in there growing their hair out right now, and it's a very fun time for inspiration. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna go and have a look at some of the reasons you guys grew your hair out and I will tell you about mine. Okay, let's roll. So the reason I ended up growing my hair out to what it is now, I'm constantly with this whole beard getting called Jesus left, right and center, like more than ever before. To look like Jesus was not the reason. The reason that I ended up growing my hair out was I rocked the man bun with the disconnected undercut for a really long time. Every now and again, get very bored of things. So once I get bored with my look, which I'm not bored with this one yet, I have to switch it up. I knew that having a man bun was my thing. I really love having a bun. I just love the style. And I just was over the whole disconnected undercut thing. I couldn't do much with it anymore. I'd probably tested every hairstyle ever. And I went, you know what, it's time to do it. And at the time of deciding to grow my hair out, it became very apparent to me that a lot of you guys had been wanting that and were also wanting to grow your hair out. So it seemed like kill two birds with one stone thing. And now that I've gone through the hard yards and fully grown my hair out, have my full man bun, I actually I fall in love with it more and more and more. And as this community keeps getting bigger and the inspiration keeps pouring in, particularly in the Facebook group, I just, I just can't get enough of it really i'm obsessed with long hair so that was my reason and i think that's a pretty good one like it's just a personal choice uh, but now we're going to flick over to my computer screen and we're actually going to read out some of the comments that came in starting with youtube subscribers these comments are from the community feed where i posted a little graphic and we're going to go have a read now all right let's flick on over to the community feed also guys, if you notice any traffic noises out the back, we're filming in my new office now. There is a road just out there that is going to make a little bit of noise. Kim's worried about it making the video less professional, but you know, this is for YouTube. So if you can't deal with it, I'm really sorry. <laughs> All right. So here is the post that I put out there and we're going to read the first comment because it looks nice and juicy. So this one is from Xavier Miranda or Javier. So Xavier said, Grew up in a very traditional family where long hair on men was literally seen as a sin, lol. Pretty much grew up hating our hair and looking at it as a, a defect instead of a blessing. Then one day I decided to break that and just let this unknown thing grow out of my head. I received a lot of backlash from loved ones and still do, but I didn't care. Uh, I didn't even know my texture, I bumped into your videos and I was about halfway and they really inspired me to keep going. So I grew out my undercut as well and now I'm at shoulder length. Cool. Um, this, this might seem a bit over the top but there are some of us who do grow up in a very legalistic environment, yes, uh, and one of the lucky ones who broke free. Come on y'all, break the rules. <laughs> Thanks for reading, love from Kentucky, USA. I love this. I think this is a fantastic reason, breaking the mold. And to me personally as well, now that I look at it, having long hair, a lot of people seem to go with the take of not caring what others think and breaking the mold. And the fact that you've brought attention to coming up in a legalistic environment where people are very judgmental and still going through with it anyway, that is a big sign of bravery and you get a lion badge. <sighs> 
<laughs> I love that. So thank you for putting this. This comment also had 25 likes, which indicates a lot of other people think the same thing. And I think it's a great reason. Why not? The next one is from Diego Garcia. I was bored of having the same hairstyle for so long, almost 10 years. I mean, just look at all the men on in your school or an, another place. Almost 90% of them have an undercut and it's boring. So I decided to try a very big change in growing my hair out. Also, I love the man bun and it's very cool uh, that the samurais made and used it, if I'm not wrong. Uh, I'm not actually sure, and I don't want to say in case that's culturally inappropriate. However, Diego, I can really relate to your reason, actually, because it's the same as mine. I got bored, I needed something new, so here we are. Okay, here we go, uh, from Alex Quinn. Just want to grow it out before I turn bald. My father is bald, so I'm not sure I will be too or not. Hey, that's a good reason as well, but... In all of my research, and there's a new blog on the Man Buns and Mains website that talks about hair loss solutions, and I'm filming a video about it as well, you don't actually have to submit to going bald these days, even if it genetically is in your family. If you get on top of it quick enough, you can actually defy it. So it's pretty cool. All right, this one's from Rory. I really like this reason too. <laughs> no one pays attention to your ugly face when you have elbow length hair. <laughs> oh, come on. You can't be that ugly. Everybody's pretty in their own way, right? Like, whoever, wh whichever way you look, that's how you were designed to be, so that's perfect, okay? Oh, listen to me, Tom the life coach. <laughs> what else have we got here? Adam Gassus Coke Dealer. Okay. <laughs> he said, to be a fucking lion. That's a good reason, I like that. Oh, this is a really good one, actually. So, Square Bob Sponge Pants said, I save over $650 a year on haircuts. Yeah, if you're looking to tighten the budget and make the pockets a bit longer, start growing your hair out. Don't have to go to the hairdressers as much. Hairdressers are expensive too, by the way. Beauty is pain for the wallet and for sitting in a chair for a really long time. So this one is from Rohan. It's a big opportunity to explore yourself. We always study others and try to replicate. That's okay, but knowing that you can explore your own self and learn something about you and how you can look different with... Uh, this thing called hair without external toppings. So that's why I decided to grow my hair out, to explore myself. I can relate to that one a little bit as well, actually. Because it's a new thing. You don't know how people are gonna take it. And Here's another one from G. Zeus. I started to watch Vikings and realized how cool men look with long masculine hair, braids, etc. I always wanted to get that primal ancestral look with my hair as well. That's a good reason too, being inspired by TV shows. Um, Game of Thrones was a big one for me as well. Um, I'm yet to watch Vikings, but I've seen lots of stuff on Google about it, and they are pretty inspiring hairdos that they've got in there. However, I wonder how they're going for cultural appropriation. This one's from someone called Marwan Salil. Sali. Uh, I'm growing my hair out to not get influenced by what people say. I feel independent, confident about myself when others are all over you. Apart from looking good with long hair, I wanted to know if I was strong enough to not give a fuck what people think of me and taking decisions on my own. Oh. Now, I'm in a seven month journey. You are my motivation and inspiration for growing my hair out. Thank you so much, Thomas. This is exactly why I make content. <laughs> this is uh, this is actually revealing a lot more to me than I realized. So a lot of you guys have the same sort of belief. I really believe this as well. You know, just aside from the aesthetic look of having long hair and making it work for you, there is a big factor in there of growing your own personal confidence. Now, growing the hair does change your appearance, but what it does to you mentally is a whole different ball game. And I really feel like this guy gets it. And that is cool. Love that. That is the good enough reason for me. All right, the next one is from Omar. Omar said, uh, firstly, because I feel better when my hair is longer and I feel so much more handsome. Second thing is because I like rock music. So when I'm singing and rocking to it, it'll be better with long hair. That's a cool reason as well. Not only that, I have got another video coming soon about, or it may have already been released. <laughs> it's about the history of men's long hair. I was inspired by the guy from the beard brand or whatever. But what's really interesting is in the 60s and 70s, men's long hair made a comeback. And 
the reason it made a comeback was because so many celebrities started wearing long hair and people were getting inspired. But the real meaning behind it was, I'm gonna grow my hair like them to be a symbol that I belong to something. You know what, it just dawned on me, that could be a reason a lot of you guys are growing your hair out as well, because we've got this community now and we technically belong to something. It makes us feel good, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe it influences the new rock stars? <laughs> Possibly. This one's from Brandon. Brandon said, metalhead. <laughs> why Why do metalheads, oh, I think it's because when they rock around to the music, they just love to have long flowy hair. I know metal chicks love long hair on guys. It's crazy. Okay, so the next one is from someone called So Noisy. So So Noisy said, to donate it. After it hit my mid back, I just fell in love with it. And I still have it. <laughs> Been growing it for three years. Oh, that's dangerous. See, that's kind of, I have the same reasoning behind not getting the lowered undercut yet. <laughs> Cause I just have fallen in love with it. So I can understand that. But the intention of donating it is also a very, very good reason because other people really need it. You know, there's little kids out there that are struggling with cancer and when they go through chemotherapy, it all falls out. So to have people donating their real hair to be made into real human hair wigs so children don't feel alienated in a playground, I think that is a fantastic reason to grow your hair out and I really, really applaud anybody who does it for that. There was, in one of my reviewing subscribers hair video, there was this nine-year-old Alistair who I featured and he was nine growing his hair long, going through bullying at school and being like, I don't give a fuck because I'm donating this for a good cause and none of y'all can tell me differently. And I thought that was so courageous of a nine-year-old. Alistair's uncle as well, Daniel Lunt, he's part of the Facebook group and he, I know, also, he was, you know, growing his hair out with Alistair just to support him through this, the awkward stages. But as Daniel's gone through with it, he's decided as well that he wants to grow his hair out to donate it too, because the cause is just so freaking epic and it's a really, really good one. So if you're, you know, wanting to grow your hair out, it's something you're wanting to try and you don't know if you'll keep it, it's always a good move to go through with it because A, you're gonna grow confidence, you're gonna help somebody who really needs it. And then you're also gonna learn a little bit more about yourself, whether it suits you or not. So, it's like killing three birds with one stone. That's a great idea. Here's another one. <laughs> Grow it while you can. Again, you can always reverse hair loss these days if you get it early enough, so don't stress about that. You don't need to make that the reason. <laughs> so, I think that's enough for the YouTube channel. There is like 96 comments here. I'm pretty sure I've read out like eight or ten, something like that. But I think it's also important to go over to the Facebook group and have a look at what's popping over there because that's a fun place to hang out on the internet. It's forever engaging. All right, let's have a look. What have we got on the Facebook group? Okay, the first one is from Adam Sharkey. So, I've had short hair for 30 years of my life. I was afraid to let it grow as I've always had a need to control it. Okay, uh, my hair is super curly and super thick. I'm using it as a way to let go of this control and be confident in who I am and also disperse the image I've had of myself and what I should look like. It's not even long yet, but I'm, <laughs> I've, I'm freaking out with how curly it gets. Love this as well. We're seeing a re recurring pattern here, right? It, people hate being confined and constrained. So it seems like this whole hair growth journey in particular and then having long hair in general is a way of saying I am different and I am not going to conform to anything. So that's really cool. Thanks for sharing that, Adam. Ah, look, from Daniel Lunn. I was just talking about him earlier. So this is Alistair's uncle. And he said, I started to grow mine out to support my nephew growing his as he was getting bullied. Uh, his end goal was to grow, grow it out to cut it and donate. He's fulfilled his goal and now that's also my goal. It won't be long until mine is ready for the big cut. No. <laughs> I've seen a couple of your photos in the Facebook group as well, Daniel, and you're looking really good with that long hair. Are you sure you wanna chop it? Actually, no, it's for a good cause, do it. <laughs> Don't let me change your mind. Here's another one, Mitchell Freeman, breaking gender boundaries and gender roles. It can be a great way to explore your gender identity if you're cis or trans, since so much of our cultural identities correlate hair and gender. That's a good one too. Again, recurring theme, saying who you are, not being apologetic about it. Definitely running theme. From Dylan Cook, Dylan Cook said, uh, all these long ass answers and I'm just doing it because my GF said I'd probably look cute. <laughs> well, 
I think your GF has good taste. Mm-hmm, honey. Here we go from Ignatio. So I'm growing mine to donate it to children with cancer. Great, love that. Alfred. Alfred said, this time I grew it out because I was told that I looked great with it. Uh, sounds superficial, but it helped me to start. Now I'm in love with it, and I think it reflects my artistic personality. That reoccurring theme again of being who you really are. Isn't it funny as well that men are born to grow beards and long hair. <laughs> we weren't born with a pair of scissors in our hands, were we? No. So it's funny that a lot of us feel liberated as soon as we kind of get to this stage or start doing something like this. Very, very interesting to me. LG Macquarez. I had a surgery in May that required me to rest for a long period of time, which was kind of rest of the summer, so I didn't even go out and therefore didn't care for my appearance. So my hair grew and I actually liked how it was growing. So now I'm on month six of my hair growth uh, and on the 27th of December, it'll be seven months. And by the way, I've never had long hair. So this whole hair growth journey is a new territory slash experience for me. Trying something new. Here we go from Hadim. He says to be different, seeing it again. Uh, Cohen said to be free. Love, love, love all these answers. They're really good reasons. Alexander Hefferfellinger. First reason, Thor. Second, Vikings. Third, man bun. Fourth, try new hairstyles and change up my look. Jake JD, he said, I was in the army from a young age and never got the chance to grow my hair. I'm 38 now and thought, let's give it a go. I've been growing it for 11 months now and until now I never knew I even had curly hair as I've always had it short. There we go, learning things about ourselves. All right, I love that. I think that's all we're gonna have time for in this video. Like I did read out quite a few of these answers. If you are interested in reading about more reasons as to why guys go and grow their hair out, there's probably tons more, and there's probably a lot in there that all cross over and relate to each other. I really just enjoyed that little period of time reading those. If you do wanna read the rest of them, head on over to either the community feed on my YouTube channel, where you can see the question posed, or come along and join the Facebook group, which there'll be a link in the description box below. There is a bit of a method to getting in there. You have to <laughs> go to the link, follow the prompts, make sure you read about the group first and make sure it's something that you wanna join before you actually click join. And then you'll get taken to Facebook Messenger where the link will be revealed to you. The reason I make it like this is because I really, really only want dedicated people in there who are really solid about going through this hair growth experience. And I don't really want phonies or spammers in there. And if you do get caught doing any of that in the group, you just get chucked out straight away. So them the rules. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty much open for everyone. If you have a good read of it, all of these comments are fantastic. If you didn't have any input in either of these posts, make sure you leave a comment on this video as to why you grew your hair out, because uh, I'd be interested to read them as well. It just really gives me a good idea of who you guys are, and it almost gives me something to relate to a little bit more. I feel like I know you guys better when I read these things, so it's, it's really nice. I love it. Okay, thank you so much for coming and watching this video. Please, please, please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed watching this today because your girl needs it. No, <laughs> I really, really need it right now. The YouTube algorithm is so up and down. So the more engagement we can create on videos like this, the better because they're gonna give me more exposure to help me grow this community even bigger. And yeah, it's hard times in social media right now. Like it is so saturated with everything that it's hard to get on top of any sort of niche. So if you do want to see me keep making videos, please make sure you're liking and subscribing and commenting because those things really, really tell the platform how well this video is doing and how good it is. So yeah, uh, thank you for coming to watch. I'll see you next week in another video and I will probably still feel a little bit sick, but hey, <laughs> See you then. Bye.